So do you ever feel like the task ahead of you is just too big? It's, it's like a mountain. You don't have the skill or energy to climb. You feel completely inadequate to take on the assignment. Well, let me tell you about this man named Moses. When, when God called Moses to a God-sized mission, Moses responded with a series of excuses. He, he wasn't up for the task. He wasn't convinced that God was up for the task either. Here's a question that Moses asked God. Listen to the question and God's response. Exodus 3, 13 and 14. Then Moses said to God, so if I come to the people of Israel and I say to them, the God of your fathers has sent me to you, and they ask me, what is his name? What shall I say to them? And God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, say to this people of Israel, I am has sent you. The fear of inadequacy is fueled by the belief that God is not enough. I transfer my, my feelings, my personal feelings of, of inadequacy onto God. Moses felt inadequate, and he felt God was insufficient. But God doesn't hesitate with his response. He said, I am who I am. You just say to the people of Israel, I am has sent you. That title I am is the first person singular of the Hebrew word to be. It's used to describe God's self-sufficiency and his omnipotence. There is nothing he can't do. He is all powerful. And today he is still, I am who I am. The fear of inadequacy is squelched by the admission of my personal inadequacy and the confidence that I serve a God who is more than adequate. He is holy, incomprehensible, he's eternal, he's independent, he's all-knowing, he's all-present, he's all-powerful. God who loves me with an unconditional love has adopted me as his child, and he tells me to call him Abba Father. With his presence and his power, I am never inadequate. Father, forgive me for transferring my feelings of inadequacy onto you. Thank you for being the all-sufficient one and for being the one who will provide me all I need for every assignment you give me. I thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen.